What up guys, figured I would bring you something, uh, let you know what's going on here. Uh, as you can see, a lot of boxes, I got boxes ready to go, and <sighs> definitely uh, looking like a moving house. Uh, tomorrow, I got quite a few corals that are going to be going out the door. The uh, big green Pocillopora, the green Stylophora is going to be going. Um, this big old Meteor uh, Shower Cyphastria is going. The rock with the green Slimer and the strawberry fields is going. The Aura Joe is going. Um, and something else, I forget what it is. But um, So we're going to slowly start uh, to break this tank down. Let me uh, show you the fish room. Still kind of wet out here. So I had a 110 gallon uh, flat bag hex over here, but that's gone. Oh no, did I lock the door? No. Alright. As you can see, the uh, 120 gallon refugium is gone. Um, got rid of it today. I gave it away. I gave a bunch of stuff away today. I gave away the 120 gallon tank with the stand. Um, I have the uh, bucket of Kato here still. It's a five gallon bucket full of Kato Morpha. Um, gave that tank away. I gave away the uh, flatback hex, 110 gallon flatback hex. Um, I got two 55 gallon drums I'm giving away and some other stuff. Uh, I put a bunch of those corals up for sale and a guy wanted to buy them as a lot. So he's coming tomorrow morning. He's driving like two and a half hours to come and get them. So must like what he saw. And then I'm going to be uh, putting up for sale all of my Akins except for one, and it's the ones that I really like. Um, all of my mushrooms I'm going to be putting up for sale except for one. Uh, that toadstool. So there's going to be some things in this frag tank that are going for sale. Um, the Euphelia that are here, all the Akins, the toadstool. Um, the acros and stuff that are in this portion of the frag tank are actually going to stay. Uh, I'm keeping those. I just put them in here because I was starting to move corals in to this tank while well, getting ready to start moving them in. and then we decided that uh, you know the time is right to jump on moving so that's what we're gonna do um, I just literally came in here with my sawzall and I cut the water line I cut the drain line that was dumping into the frag tank and uh, I just shut the ball valve off that was uh, feeding the refugium I just shut it off and then cut the lines off and then moved the tank out of here so it was a pretty easy move. Um, yeah, so I don't I don't know uh, when I'm gonna be able to uh, get the rest of this broken down. I'm really focused right now on getting things packed and put into storage and moved. I still gotta clean my garage up a little bit more because I got tools and HVAC shit all over the place. But uh, that's what's going on. That's where we're at so far. Um, I think. I'm going to be using this tank for a little bit when we get to the new house. Uh, I was going to get a 60 gallon cube and then I was looking at the 93 gallon Marineland cube and I was just like I already got a, a pretty decent tank here so I'm just going to go ahead and uh, keep using this. Um, I'm going to be taking the uh, LEDs down <clears throat> as soon as I get all of this crap transferred out. Take the LEDs down, I'm going to patch the holes in the ceiling and then I'm going to repaint this entire room, replace the carpet and uh, this room will be ready to go. So nothing too different uh, with the tank as of yet, but uh, tomorrow kind of starts the, uh, the breakdown of this tank because I'm going to have to take uh, some rock structures apart. Um, in order to get some of these corals off, like that meteor shower cyphastria takes up a, a giant, like, you know, six, seven pound piece. And then that rock is going to go that has the, uh, the green slimer on it, and uh, the stylophora is going to go with a rock. Uh, the pocillopora, I'm just going to have to rip off uh, of that rock because that's like a 85 pound piece of rock back there. Um, the Aura Joe is just, uh, is just uh, epoxied. And then uh, I'm going to be putting up for sale pretty soon these uh, dragons, our red dragon acros. Um, as soon as I can find people that are, you know, serious about wanting to pay something for some corals. They really want something for free or they want to lowball the ever living hell out of you. So I ain't about that, especially on some of these corals. I'm not going to get lowballed on them. 
So yeah, so I'm gonna be doing the same thing when I uh, take the uh, T5s down. I'm gonna patch the hole, and they're only little small, like I don't know, maybe three eighths inch holes. But throw some caulking up there, make it look flush with the ceiling again, and then uh, then I gotta paint the house. I mean, I got a lot of stuff packed already. House is a mess, but I got you know a good portion of the house packed already, but. When it feels like you're starting to make a lot of progress, you're actually not making any progress because then you look back at everything and it's like there's still so much stuff. It's amazing how much stuff you accumulate when you live in a house for seven years. So uh, anyways, that's what's going on guys. Um, I'll do my best to record um, the breakdown of the tank and the moving of all the corals and stuff because uh, some of you guys had the idea that that would probably be beneficial to show other people, you know, kind of give ideas on how I'm going to move it and that might give somebody some inspiration when they go to move their aquarium because this is a this is hard this is this is a lot harder than what it would seem especially a big system um you know like a little 20 gallon maybe up to a 60 gallon would probably be a little easier but moving big corals and lots of water volume is is hard um next thing once i start getting the rock out of here i'm gonna catch the clownfish and i'm gonna give the clownfish away i'm not gonna even sell them i'm just gonna you know to a good home there's two breeding pairs in here now and there's one lone ranger that uh, just kind of gets along with everybody. There's one of the peppermint shrimp. Those guys are fantastic. They have almost virtually eliminated my Aptasia problem. There's four of them in here. And as I look around the tank, like, I don't see the Aptasia like I used to. I, I had an issue in here, and that's why I decided to go with the peps. So, uh, anyways, guys, that's what's going on. Um, not a huge update, but uh, we're starting our cruise along here. Tomorrow's going to be a big day. Uh, because I got people coming to get stuff and, and we're going to be getting rid of a lot of things in here. So, all right, we'll see you in the next one. Bye.